Our guests today are two members of the Polish group Pink Freud, and we are here with Wojtek, uh, who is playing the bass, and with Adam, who is playing the trumpet and the trombone. Not exactly trombone, but trumpet and electronics. Ah, and electronics. Well, but I got uh, my own trombone also. I think this question was uh, asked you like a thousand times, so it's a thousand and one. We go back to the late 90s, and the question is Pink Freud. Pink Floyd and Sigmund Freud, so why this wonderful name? Tak się składa, że <coughs> bardzo ufamy inteligencji i wrażliwości naszych słuchaczy. The intelligence and sensitivity of our audience is very, very important for us and we trust, trust them very, very much, completely. And I nie chcemy odbierać im po pierwsze tej przyjemności od odbierania tego czym jest nasza nazwa. And we do not they, uh, want to uh, take from them the pleasure of discovering the name. What does it mean? And a tym samym wciągamy ich jakby w proces tworzenia, bo ich myśli i interpretacje oddziaływują na nas i my na nich. I... And in in the same time we uh, involve them in the process of in the creative process because their thoughts uh, start to work with the same uh, frequencies as ours. Oh, wonderful. Now we understand everything. Thank wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> but what we don't understand, what kind of music do you do? Because I know that you were kind of uh, found by a German TV, German French uh, TV channel in 2007. I think even before nobody knew you. But now I think Germany is one of your favorite places as far as I have heard. Is that true? Uh, Germany is uh, very, very, and Germany, uh, playing concerts in Germany is uh, very, very uh, personal for us uh, because we've been playing here a lot even before we uh, start to uh, play as a Pink Freud. So yeah. I think each, each one of us uh, has uh, really nice connections with this country. Uh, what about our music? It's very obvious to say that this is a mixture of uh, many styles. I would say rather that this is a, a mixture of uh, many personalities. Yeah. Uh, each of us uh, has uh, raised in the totally different uh, musical styles and uh, the path of if each of us was uh, totally different. Uh, but uh, there was one common denominator mm. in uh, all of it. It was uh, improvisation and jazz music. And uh, so uh, the, the best way to describe our music is uh, uh, punk jazz electro or something like this. Punk yes. jazz. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> because you have a, a really big variety of styles. I think there's not one style you miss. You try really your best to cover almost everything. Yes, it is. But I think we do not spend time to thinking about it. We just uh, want to be uh, one hundred percent uh, sure and uh, truthful uh, on the stage. So this is just when you watch the Pink Freud shows. Uh, this is uh, one hundred percent Pink Freud. We are just like that. So yeah, all right. this is true. If music is true, it's it's good one. Poland has a very interesting uh, tradition on jazz uh, music, but you were raised in a break even, so to speak. Uh, when you came up with Pink Freud, there was a slight change in the scene of Poland. How it is today? How is the situation, the Polish jazz situation today? I think it's more internationalized in a way, probably, or is it still this uh, root coming from the very beginning? The tradition, about which you is very important for us. And artists like Komeda, Stańko or Namysłowski have pushed their feet uh, the tradition you are talking about is very important for us and artists like Komera, uh, Stanko uh, have uh, mm, influenced us a lot. I mam nadzieję, że w naszej muzyce dzisiaj słychać, że jakby jesteśmy zakorzenieni w tej tradycji, ale rozumiemy, znaczy albo chcemy, może przede wszystkim tworzyć muzykę totalnie współczesną, taka, która odnosi się do tego, że dzisiaj wszystko, wiesz, mamy internet, mamy komórki i tak dalej, żyjemy w dużo szybszym świecie i nasza muzyka tak samo jak, e, okay, tak so. samo się zmieniła w stosunku do, do tamtych czasów. Okay, and uh, 
uh, is important for us to let the listeners uh, understand that we have grown up uh, out of this tradition, but uh, we want to make a contemporary music. Yes. Because the world is changing and uh, uh, the fashion is changing, the music is changing, the instruments is changing, the emotions are changing also. So uh, we want to be uh, on time. Really up to date. Up to date, thank you. Yeah. I meant that. Okay. <laughs> I, I pytał o współczesną kondycję też y, Polski, polskie, yes. polskie muzyki. Więc wydaje mi się, że że jest bardzo dobrze. Owszem, kiedyś było to takie zainteresowanie tym, że to była muzyka z żelaznej kurtuny, taki krzyk wolności. Mm -hmm. uh, about the, um, the actual condition of the Polish uh, jazz and the tradition of it uh, is that like it's uh, it looks like uh, in uh, that time when the Pink Floyd starts and in the time of the breakthrough it uh, the jazz was uh, like a, a scream of uh, freedom uh, from the yeah. iron curtain mm. so the art and not, not only the music but uh, generally the contemporary art of that times yes. were were interpreted as is that still the spirit of those days is it still influencing uh, yes of course it is because it's our roots it's yeah. our tradition yeah. but uh, i think that uh, Each generation has its own revolution, so the revolutions are changing, but the, the riots are still the same. So. <laughs> ja chciałbym powiedzieć, że, że dzisiaj jakby mamy bardzo dobrą sytuację, że mamy bardzo dużo muzyków, bardzo dużo zespołów. W Polsce jest dużo festiwali, klubów. To powoduje, że jakby jakość jakby tego co, muzyki, która powstaje w Polsce jest coraz Większa, wydaje mi się, że tylko musimy się uczyć od naszych sąsiadów i z prawa, i z, wiesz, i z lewa i tak dalej, e, promocji tego na świecie. Uh, nowadays in Poland the music scene is uh, really open and we got a lot of uh, clubs, a lot of bands, a lot of great artists and a lot of festivals and uh, the only thing uh, which is now important is to learn from our neighbors yeah. uh, from the left side of the map, <laughs> so how to promote it around the world yeah, so, and yeah. how to do it very good. Yeah. So. Um, usually jazz music is very known of improvisation and also the dialogue between the different musicians but you have told it even before that you claim a certain concentration also for your audience uh, so what kind of dialogue is there so it's a triangle between the musicians and the audience is this something special is it something unique for your uh, I think it's uh, and the mm, most important and the natural way of playing yeah. life. When you are on the stage, uh, you are with the people. This is the one big band. Yeah. But you are communicating with your audience. Yes, but uh, sometimes it's uh, really hard to describe the mm, uh, the way of communication because you cannot say that we're doing it like this or we are yes. just talk, yeah. uh, sp sp speaking to them, talking with them or we are just singing together but um, you know uh, it's all, all this band is jazz band so you cannot uh, predict how, how it will yes. be. Yeah. Thank you very much, good luck for your you. uh, live stage uh, at Elb Jazz and uh, see you again. Thank you Wojtek, thank you Adam. Thank you very much. <laughs>